Hey y'all, Mama Snark here. I'm gonna do a video comparing Mirrors Connect and Sunshine Flyer, which are two bus transportations, and they also have private transports as well, to get you from the MCO Orlando International Airport to a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel. So both of these services basically do the exact same thing, just with a little bit of different like bus coverings, basically. So I'm gonna compare how they work and my personal experience with using both services. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is gonna be pricing. Basically the same price uh, for one adult and one child, it was 59 total versus the Sunshine Flyer, it was 61 total. So literally a $2 difference on fares. So if you're traveling with like a soccer team, that's gonna add up, but for two or four people, not so much. I will say that Mirrors has an advantage in two different areas. That first one will be the fact that Mirrors Connect runs 24 seven from MCO Orlando International Airport to a Disney World Resort Hotel. This is a huge plus if you have a flight that's coming in super late at night, like we did one time, our flight came in at midnight, or if you're leaving super, super, super early in the morning for like a 4 a.m. flight. Whereas Sunshine Flyer, only runs until 11 p.m. and it only services flights starting at 7 a.m. or later. So this didn't work for us on our first trip because like I said, our flight got in super late at night. The second leg up Mirrors Connect has for me is the fact that on the booking site, when you go to book, you can actually pick a different drop-off location from the airport and a different pickup location to go back to the airport. This is especially great if you're doing split stays like we did on our last trip. We started off staying at All Star Sports for one night because we decided to arrive a day early. And then we continued to our home resort pop century for the rest of the stay. And that is where we got picked up to head back to the airport. If you have a split stay and you're booking with Sunshine Flyer, unfortunately, it's looking like you're going to have to do two separate tickets, one for your arrival and then another separate reservation ticket for your departure. Because on that booking screen, it will only let me choose one resort. Now, the leg up that Sunshine Flyer actually has for me is the fact that on your departure from your Disney World hotel back to the Orlando International Airport, it actually allows you to pick from four different departure times. So general rule of thumb is you want to be at the airport around three hours before your flight leaves, just in case there's any hiccup, security line is really long or checking in your bags takes a really long time or things like that. Mirrors Connect, when you book, it just automatically gives you a time for exactly three hours before your flight leaves. Keep in mind, these buses make stops at several different resorts to pick up and drop off guests. So by the time you actually make it to the airport, you tend to only have about two hours time. Whereas the Sunshine Flyer, if you can choose a time to be picked up for about four hours earlier than your flight, you have a little bit more of a cushion there if you are flying during a busy time of day. As far as where to get on the buses, Mirrors Connect is in the old Magical Express location and the Sunshine Flyer is on the opposite end of the terminal. Both of these buses basically operate the same way. They both take your bags for, from you and store them underneath the motor coach. It takes you to your resort hotel. As I said, the big motor coaches, they do make several other stops at different resorts to drop off guests. So bear that in mind. And the value resorts tend to be last on that list. Now I will say one of my saddest complaints is that neither service announces when you're going through that Disney arch. So you just have to be at the ready. Here I'm gonna show you us boarding the Mirrors Connect bus. As you can see, the bus driver took our luggage and our double stroller and stored them underneath the motor coach. And then it was time for us to hop on board. They have the lit stairwell there. And then this is what the inside of the bus looks like. It's literally the exact same bus as the Magical Express was. It's just been made over basically. And then this is the Sunshine Flyer here. My little man's getting on. I do feel like the Sunshine Flyer buses were a little bit newer and cleaner and kind of updated overall. Here you can see I have plenty of backpack space on the floor with a kid, but as an adult, my legs would have been cramped. Both buses do show cartoons, non-Disney branded on the way to your resort and from. This is the Sunshine Flyer, the front row seat leg room. And then this is the overhead bin storage space. On both buses, there's not a lot of it. And what there is is very small and compact. 
This is the Mirrors Connect bus, same way, not a whole lot of overhead bin storage space. And then both buses do come equipped with a bathroom should you or your little one need it. So I hope this video was helpful and informative and helping you make a decision. Please make sure you give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more Disney tips and tricks. Bye guys.